Hey guys, it's Aaron. Wanted to take a look today at an option you have inside of Ad Location for higher resolution imagery. So there was a time where we were able to offer higher resolution imagery or part of Google and eventually Google shut the door on that so we couldn't offer Google Earth imagery anymore. Uh, so we started offering Digital Globe, which works for a lot of people. It's higher, higher uh, images taken higher up, lower resolution, works for a lot of people. But we now have an ability to purchase higher resolution imagery. So I want to take a look at using Near Map to purchase high res imagery via Ad Location. All right, first thing we're going to do, brand new, brand new file here. I'm going to go up to File and hit Add Location under Geolocation. All right, when I bring it up. This should look the same. This is the same, same as we've seen before. Uh, the new thing here, so I have my zoom levels just like I did before, select region, but I have this thing right here which says high res coverage. What this means, if I zoom out here, I'm gonna keep going out, keep going out, keep going out, and it'll become real apparent when I come way out. So see that blue section right there? That is telling me that I have high resolution imagery available for this section of the front range. So unfortunately, NearMap does not offer worldwide imagery, but it does offer imagery for a lot of spaces, including the front range of, of Colorado. So here I can see from Colorado Springs up to Fort Collins, uh, I can pull high-res imagery. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on Boulder, and I'm just gonna find a spot at random. Uh, we'll say, say this block right here is what we wanna go grab. Um, and I'm gonna say that I want to select a region. Now, as soon as I do that, it's gonna pop up and ask me to select a provider. If I click Select Provider, I can tell it I want to use Digital Globe, which is the one that I've, I've had access to. This is the standard, so this is what I've been able to download uh, for the last couple of years in SketchUp, or I can switch to Near Map. This is gonna change some things. So first thing you see is these tiles. See these little tiles here? Uh, I can actually swap these on and off, so if I don't like seeing if they're getting my way. But they're important because they're going to control the fidelity of the imagery that I purchase. So what I mean by that is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to tell it to grab a certain number of these tiles and download these high-res imagery that I can purchase. So I'm going to come in here, my import level is going to change how high resolution each of these images are, so each of these tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it all the way up to 21. And you can see one of the things I do have to do, if I have this too low, it's going to come up and tell me I have to purchase at least 200 tiles. So I, by making them higher resolution, I can grab a smaller area and still make that minimum purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this section right here. So this is about what I want. Uh, it says it's 260 tiles. That's going to give me the, at the highest import levels and give me the highest fidelity, the, the most, uh, most resolution for that, those images. Um, I can move it around just like I'd normally do, slide this around to resize, but I do have to keep it over 200 in order to make this purchase. So if I get too small, let's see, oh, there's 180, not quite enough. So I'm bump it up a little bit more. Till I get to that 200, 208, that'll work. If I want to, I can hit preview tile. Preview tile is just going to give me a quick preview showing me, you know, this is, this is the, the kind of imagery that you're going to pull in. So I can actually see there, you can see branches on trees, uh, pretty high resolution compared to what I was able to get before. All right, if I like that, that looks good. I can click on purchase tiles. This is going to take me through the process of actually paying for these tiles. So First thing, terms of service. So I'm sure you guys will diligently read every single line in here. And once that's good, I can click here and agree. All right. Next thing it's going to do is come up and confirm my sign-in information. So what I have over here, I'll just bring this over. It is gonna ask me to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and put in my password. And that's going to take me into a Trimble checkout. And here it's going to pop up and tell me what I'm purchasing. So at four cents a tile, I'm purchasing 208 tiles. So it's going to be 832. And at that point, I can hit checkout, put in my information. So this is my billing information, my address card, that kind of stuff. Hopefully yours will be less blurry than mine is. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And then I'm going to click on import imagery. And with that, I'm done. 
and come back to SketchUp. Click on Import. And there we go. There's my high resolution imagery. And you can see, I mean, just right away, look how sharp those lines are. Like I said, you can see branches on trees. Uh, so much higher resolution than what I was able to get before with the providers. Uh, but I do have to import that through NearMap and purchase those tiles. So a good option to have. Like I said, this is going to be primarily for people who need that high resolution imagery. People are doing work on uh, landscape or uh, you know, we've asked, had people asking about putting like solar tiles on top of buildings and that kind of thing. This is the perfect way to do that because you can get that super high resolution imagery right out of SketchUp without ever leaving your house or office or wherever you're working from. So hopefully that helped you guys. If so, let us know down below. If you do have questions, I suggest you head over to our forum, forums.sketchup.com and ask questions there and we can help you and jump in and give you a hand with any problems you have. Thank you.